بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہمارا آج کا ٹاپک ہے ایسٹیمیشن اچھا ٹین سٹوڈنٹس جو تھے دیر ور ٹین سٹوڈنٹس ان ای کلاس دے ٹوک ای میتھس ٹیسٹ ٹوٹل مارکس اف دے ٹیسٹ ور ٹوانٹی اوکی ٹوٹل مارکس اف دے ٹیسٹ ور ٹوانٹی دے سکورز اف دے ٹین سٹوڈنٹس آر ریٹن ان ای سینڈنگ آرڈر دیر ور آنلی ٹین سٹوڈنٹس ون اف دیم سکور ون دا ادر ون سکور تھری اینڈ دن سیون ایٹ نائن الیون ترٹین 12, 20, 22 students got full marks. Let's declare this uh, 10 uh, marks uh, data as the population. Let's declare this assembly of 10 students as a population. This so result of these 10 students as a, uh, a population, okay? Now we calculate the average of this uh, population. We add all of them. We divide them by their number, sigma x over n and we get average mean or score of the population which is equal to mu. We declare mu equal to this score of the population. The mu specifically um, uh, stands um, for the average of the whole population, okay? You know that this symbol mean uh, mu is also used for micro, it is also used for coefficient of friction, but over here this mu is the pop average score of the population. Over here, it's 10.9. And if we apply this formula, sigma x square over n minus this, and calculate the variance, the variance of the population is 6.28. Standard deviation of the population is 6.284. Variance is 39.49, okay? Uh, this is the old formula that you're quite familiar with while calculating for variance. The other formula, if you want me to I had another formula I can write over here for you, which was this sigma x minus mu whole square for n. But over here we are using only this formula and this helps us to calculate the standard deviation. No, this is our population. This is our, although that the number 10 is very small, but still we declare it as our population, okay? And remember the average 10.9 and uh, remember the standard deviation being 6.284. Okay. Now, from this population, the, I, I, this is the same marks that were written over here. I have written them again over here. This is the population and we choose a sample of five out of this. You know, this 3, 8, 11, 13, 20 is the sample chosen from the population. The population is of 10 uh, people. Uh, the score of 10 people is the population and score of five people selected from them is the sample. Now this is the sample, okay? The average of the sample is called sample mean, sample mean, and it is always represented as x dash, by x dash. So up till now, you were not taught about the difference of x dash and mu, but now you should know that mu specifically applies for the population and x dash specifically applies for the sample, okay? Now adding this second, fourth, sixth, seventh, or ninth value, this was second, this was fourth, this was sixth, and this was uh, seventh value, and then this was the ninth value. And I calculated average, which is equal to 11, okay? Now, 11 is very near to the original average, 10.9, okay? So X dash is able to locate mu. So that means if you take uh, uh, many samples and calculate their averages, and then the mean of all those averages will be equal to the population mean, for example, this is a big population and you draw different samples from it. These are different samples drawn from the population. X1 dash is the average of this sample. X2 dash is the average of this sample. X3 dash is the sample of this, uh, X3 dash is the average of this sample. X4 dash is the um, uh, average of this sample. And if I take the average of the averages of all the sample, I will definitely arrive at the original answer. So that means expected value of the sample mean is the population mean. Hence, x dash is an unbiased estimator of mu. That means theoretically speaking, the averages of the different sample cluster around the original mu. For example, if this is the original mu, and there, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, let us suppose my 16 students draw their own sample from the population and calculate their uh, answers and report to me. And I put a dot uh, wherever their answer is. 
the sample mean is. And when I plot all those sample means uh, on the number line containing the original line, the sample, the X dash will be clustering around the original population mean. So that means the in theory X dash sample mean is quite successful in estimating the population mean. There is no um, um, obstruction, at least in the case of theory, at least for the theory is concerned, in which that the sample mean may not be able to estimate mu. And averages of all the averages will definitely lead towards the population mean. Okay. So this is the unbiased estimation. Okay. Now again, we uh, this is again the same population marks score of the those ten students. And this is the same sample which was picked from previously. It's the same sample. You know that the population mean was 10.9 and the standard deviation of the population was 6.284. The sample mean is 11. But what about the um, standard deviation of the sample? If I apply formula of standard deviation on, or, or, or if I apply the formula uh, of standard for, uh, for calculating the standard deviation if i can uh, apply the formula for calculating the standard deviation on sample if i apply the formula for standard deviation on the sample this formula i will get this answer 5.62 or if i apply this formula which is written over here each value 3 minus the sample average 8 minus the sample average, 11 minus this uh, this sample average, this sample average, and then you know 13 minus this uh, sample average, then 20 minus the sample average, squaring them and then you know dividing them by 5, I'll get 5.62. 5.62 is far from the original standard deviation which you have calculated earlier over here, which you have calculated uh, over here, which you calculated over here, 6.284. 5.62 is far from 6.284. Sample is generally picked from the center of population. You know, this is a population. Whenever a sample is picked up, it is always picked from the middle. It does not, uh, it does, it cannot pick extreme values, the values lying at the end, and true variety found in the population. It cannot pick up the true variety found in the population. So the uh, standard deviation of the sample will always be smaller than the standard deviation of the population. So we modify the formula to bring it near to the population variance. What we do is that we decrease the denominator by one. I will uh, give its mathematical proof later uh, later on, but I'm just quoting it. Um, that the formula of the this S square is the symbol for the estimation of population variance with the help of sample okay in this what you do is that sigma x minus x dash whole square over you have just decreased the denominator to increase this value to bring it more nearer to original answer you know your original answer was uh, 6.284 and what you've calculated is 5.62 from sample values and you want it to bring nearer to this okay so you, instead of dividing it by five, no, you will divide it by four, okay? So again, it's the same old population. It's the same old population with the same sample picked up. I apply the formula of standard deviation with only difference that instead of dividing it by five, I am dividing it by four, which is N minus one. So I am not using this formula. I am not using this formula. Rather, I am using this one. I am dividing it by n minus one. And I don't use the symbol sigma for it. I use the symbol s for it. That means estimation of population variance with the help of sample values. Now, when I divide it by four, my answer is 6.285, which is almost similar to 6.284. So unbiased estimator of population various variance from sample values. I know that I am using, I am taking help of a numerical uh, values to establish a result. I am not giving you a theoretical proof of it right now, but I will prove it in the later lectures that the unbiased estimator, why we put n minus one over here, uh, uh, 
the simple answer is that we decrease the denominator to improve this value because we know that the sample variance is always small. It does not represent the true vari uh, variance of the population. So unbiased estimator of population variance from sample value is, is that you know the original formula, it was this, and you just add minus one over here. Or you can write, this is the formula of the uh, original variance, and you just multiply it with n, n into n minus one, and you will get this thing. And uh, there are similar, simple or different formats of this, which you can um, derive very easily. Uh, I can also uh, will, will give the proof of these derivations as well. These are very simple. You can try yourself, but if you don't, I will give them. I will give the proof. Okay. No, there are very some some very simple questions um, related to these question uh, these things. For example, my question number one. Uh, it is the uh, it is this statistics two paper. It's question number seven. The diameter in centimeter of the pistons made in a certain factory is denoted by x. The diameter of a random sample of 100 pistons were measured with the following results. Okay, calculate the unbiased estimate of mu and uh, uh, population variance sigma. X dash is an unbiased estimator of mu. X dash is the sample mean and mu is the population mean. And just I apply sum of all values divided by n. This is x dash, which is an unbiased estimator of the population mean. Okay, now over here, I am using this uh, formula in which the denominator, instead of it being n, I have just divided it by n minus one. Uh, I've used, I'm using this formula, this formula, okay? n biased estimator of population variance. And when I insert all the values given by the question, I get this answer. And if I square it or root it, this is the unbiased estimate of population standard deviation with the help of sample values. This is an unbiased estimate of population's variance. S square is the unbiased estimate of the population variance. You know, in uh, Croatia, they are using this symbol for S, okay? And uh, they are using S square for this. So you should be uh, careful that in your uh, Cambridge, they use the symbol S for uh, estimation of population variance through sample values, but Krasha uses this symbol for the, instead of S square, and Krasha declares S square as the original variance of the population. So you should not be confused. You should not get confused with this thing. The weights, again, my question number two, which is the question one of this paper, 72, the weights in kilogram of random sample of eight 11 year old males are given below, uh, or 16 year old males are given below, and then find the unbiased estimate of population mean and the variance of the weights of all 16 year old males. You add them up and you divide them by their number. This is sample mean and it is an unbiased estimator of population mean. Okay. And then you know it, you know this formula, and the only difference is you, you are aware of this formula, but the only difference is that you have decreased the denominator by one. And you know, this, this value minus the population means squared over here. This minus, this minus square, this minus this square, this minus this square. And in this way, you will add all these values and you will calculate S square, okay? Or, or what you can do is that you can make a column like this, a, a column like this, for example, these are all uh, values of X. You add them up, 508, then you calculate the average. Then you using this average X dash, you subtract this average from each value of X. This is your X minus X dash, deviations from the mean. You square all these deviations from the mean. And when you calculate their sum, it's the sum of the squares of the deviations from the mean. You divide them by uh, n minus one instead of n, and your answer will be 15.7, okay? No, if you forget to divide it by n minus one and you divide it by n because you know you, you are habitual of you dividing it by n, then what you do, instead of doing a calculation, all of your calculations again, just simply multiply your answer by n over n minus one you will get this value. For example, if by mistake you have just divided it by n and you got this answer 
and then you suddenly realize that instead of dividing it by n, I had to divide it by n minus 1. Just multiply this thing by 8 over 7 or n over n minus 1. You will reach, uh, you will get the original value. So this is an unbiased estimates of uh, population variance and population average through sample values.